This is a quick little review of the, uh, it is the AESindustries.com uh, pinstripe eraser pad and adapter set. I purchased this off of Amazon.com. I believe it was right at about 18 bucks, uh, 18, 19 bucks with shipping. Um, it is a uh, eraser pad that's used to remove pinstriping and uh, vinyl graphics and any type of uh, um, decals or anything on, on cars or boats or RVs or anything like that. I have a uh, Nissan pickup, an old Nissan pickup, pickup truck that has graphics that I need to remove. And uh, I was planning on using a heat gun, but after doing a little research online on YouTube, I found, uh, I've, I've come across this eraser pad. I've never heard of them until a couple days ago, so I'm going to give this one a shot. Um, this is what, I haven't used it, so this is what it looks like. It's basically a big eraser, like a eraser that you would find on the tip of a pencil. Um, made in USA. It has this little metal adapter, which will allow you to put it on your uh, the end of your drill. And let's see, very simple. It comes with little uh, instructions, um, whatever. It's fairly, I believe it's fairly easy. You just put it on the end of your drill and just uh, spin it away on whatever graphics you need to get off. Okay, this is a. Uh, this is what it looks like, and the next little segment will be of this thing in action. Okay, let's see. I have my Harbor Freight Drill Master. It's uh, it's an old, old used drill, but it, I believe it should work. Um, one thing with this uh, with this eraser pad. The, according to the instructions, it's rated, you're supposed to use it between 3200 and 4000 RPM. Uh, you're not supposed to exceed 4000 RPMs. Um, my drill is rated at top, top uh, speed is 3000 RPMs, so I should be fine. Hopefully it's enough. This drill uh, is very low torque, so uh, it might not, I don't know, might not have enough strength. But uh, anyway, make sure you wear your goggles. And let's see, I'm just gonna focus on this small patch right here. See how it does. Hopefully you can see it. That seemed pretty painless. There's a few little spots where there's some adhesive still on there. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, graphics definitely came off pretty easily. Um, of course, this is an old truck, so the paint underneath looks like it's in 
great condition and it's gonna you're gonna notice a difference between old paint and what was covered up um, there's still a little bit of sticky uh, adhesive underneath um, but you can uh, according to some of the other video the YouTube videos they say after you use this uh, eraser wheel you can use whatever type of solvent solvent uh, gooby gone or goo gone or whatever that stuff is or anything to get that stuff off I'm sure this will get it off though. I guess if you just work at it, you can get the, uh, you can use the eraser wheel to get off all the stuff. But uh, some of the, some of the videos that I've seen, they uh, say that it's very easy to, to um, tear through the clear coat on a vehicle. So you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to go at too high of an RPM because it can burn through the clear coat. So that's something to consider. But as you can see from the, from this uh, short little video clip, this, this uh, eraser wheel does work. I'm very happy with, with the results right here. So, anyway, thank you for watching.